hello one and all. I haven't done one of these talking to camera videos in a hot minute. Hi, how have you been? Very special video today, or one I've never really done before, which is a review of sorts. Never really done a review, done a ranking or two, but I don't hold my opinions in high regard. However, this isn't just a review of an episode or a doctor, oh no no no. This is something very very special indeed. I received a package, well I received a message, then a package, from the History Between Us zine. If you don't know what a zine is, basically, I don't know either, that. I got a message from Cat, aka Catherine, aka Wheel of Cats, on Twitter. A whole wheel of them. What are they doing? Spinning out of control down a mountain, probably. She is the head mod, according to this, of the History Between Us zine. A really cool project that I'm very excited to tuck into. I have not looked in this box, apart from seeing this beautiful note with the logo on the back. I'm sure I'll get a lot of close-up pics of everything as we go. I've already given this a cheeky read as it is addressed to me, not you. Shove it! But let's dive in to the contents. Well, this is the box as I have opened it. I've not to hello. This is a good angle, isn't it? Firstly, I do want to mention something from the little cheeky letter. It says that over 30 plus, over 30 plus people have been involved in this thing and they have not gotten the recognition they deserve. I'm sure there's a full list of credits somewhere on their website or Twitter. However, I'm sure I'll see some names as we go. Well, what's this first thing here? Uh, I'm a big fan of cardboard, so this is already I'm sold, to be honest with you. Uh, whoa! Oh, that is gorgeous! Look at that! Oh my god. <laughs> well, let, let's get it out. I feel it will be too shiny for the camera otherwise. Oh, I've never done an unboxing before. Am I about to become an unboxing channel? Oh, there's more! There's more artwork! Oh, there's so many! Oh my god! Okay, well, let's see. This looks like a sort of cover page here. Does it say who made these on the front or the back? No. Okay, interesting. Well, I'm in love already. Let's let's go through. Oh well, as a big McCoy stan, big fan of that. Excellent. See, this is where my lack of knowledge about art <laughs> will come into play. Because it's just going to be me going, oh, that looks cool. Okay, you can't do that to me. I want to watch this now. This is cruel. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Sasha, but a female master and a female doctor going up against each other, we'd explode. Is that... So obviously that's John Sims' master. Love him. Handsome boy. Is this, like, him before and after? Or, I'm confused. I'm excited but confused. I, I like this cartoonish design. Oh look at it's mirrored! There's Sasha there! Oh you love to see it. I love this style. I mean I love every style that comes forward but I don't know, there's something about the uniqueness of this one. I would happily see a Doctor Who cartoon like this. Really like it. Oh, it's Anne, but not to be overdone. <laughs> First of all, extremely strong start. I don't know what to do with all of this art. I could have to find a place for it now. How do you not display it? But oh, I mean, the next thing that catches my eye is this cheeky pin. I love a pin. Batch number one, TARDIS. Ooh, number one, numero uno, this guy. Absolutely gorgeous pin. How do you even make a pin? How do you make pins? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get a hunchback from filming this. Well, there's another pin! Why not dive in? What's, what is this? Oh, it's when, um, Dewan's TARDIS was a hut. Love that. We should see more of the TARDIS changing into other things. I'm an inherently messy person, so I do apologise to the zine people who are watching, who are probably watching this. It'll look like I'm throwing it all over the place, I'm not. However, another gorgeous little pin there. Fantastic, I'm gonna put them with my other pins on my little display board. Big fan of that, two hearts, like a Slitheen. No, wait, hang on. I'm gonna keep it on the little plasterboard for now. Plasterboard, it's paper, you moron. Well, card, you get it. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's so clever, using the fob watch. Brilliant. Why isn't that? I want the names of the people as I go to credit them. Professor Yana, deserved better. I mean, he got excellent, but deserved better. It's me. We've got my nose. You know what, let's, let's get this out. Oh, that that feels very thick. Okay. <laughs> let's get, get out of the box! Oh, that's so cool! So it's got all the doctors on the front, including Shooty, quite right, and uh, Joe Martin. Excellent. There's War as well. You I assume that's Trouton sticking his tongue out. 
he's a cheeky boy. And there's all the masters on the back, including the crispy and the cat and the hypnotized. I don't do a lot of reading, however, Gemma does. So I'm gonna give that to her. That's gonna be a beautiful gift. Gosh, there's so many of these little things. But okay, before I open this, I'm gonna push this to one side because that looks like the main bulk. Uh, let's have a look at this. We've got flip phone. We've got flip phone, which I assume is, I wanna say based on the hair McGann and Missy. See, you put Missy with any doctor and it will sell. It's no wonder she, out of all the masters, was the first to get like a master centric box. No, that's not true. I'm lying to you, to your face. Buy this. We've got a sand timer. You love to see it. Not sure who these are. Ah, my lack of Doctor Who knowledge now. I'm such a fake fan. How did I get my hands on this? I still love the design anyway. Sand timer, makes sense. A couple of hearts. My heart belongs to the Doctor. Truth. I destroy Gallifrey for you. <laughs> I w you know what? I would destroy Gallifrey for you. Well, for my wife, anyway. Uh, that's a McCoy. I'd recognise that hat anywhere. And then the crispy... Oh, is that the audio? I tried listening to that. Not sure it's my cup of tea. I need to give it another go. And there's one more heart. I keep you in a vault. <laughs> Doesn't everyone want to hear that on a first date? You, you know, you walk up to a girl or boy or whomever, non-binary. There's options. And you say, hey, how you doing? You know, I've just seen you for the first time and... Uh, I'd keep you in a vault. Be my everything forever. Well, now, the main event. I, again, I have not seen any of this before. I'm very excited. It's even got my initials on it, I just noticed. How clever is that? That's very personalized. Much love to the zine people. Well, let's have a gander, shall we? <coughs> That's a very heavy thud. <coughs> But Christmas morning. Let's open it up. Ooh! -hoo. May contain zine. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Put the beautiful wrapping to one side. I'm gonna reuse that when I'm wrapping Christmas presents. <laughs> Let's open this up. I feel like I need to be so careful because I want to film inserts later. Okay, I haven't turned it on this front yet purposefully. Oh, beautiful and... There's the beautiful art! Look at that! Oh, I could be wrong, but I think Rogue made this. I feel like I've seen this posted a few times. Look at the size! That's so thick! It's thick! Okay, well, let's give the back a read. The maelstrom begins to fade, and they're left with nothing but each other. Always the two of them. Dancing around each other, flirting, fighting, helping in those rare moments where they share a common enemy. There's a million and one reasons why they shouldn't travel together, but for a bizarre, fractious second, dark brown eyes meet Hazel, and the two of them forever. The history between us chronicles the Doctor and the Master's adventures in a fully illustrated anthology of short stories, weaving together amidst the universe's most complicated therapy session. <laughs> Follow the Doctor and Master's dance through space and time from the very start, through adventures and disasters never seen before. Can their latest adventure calm the rage and pain of millennia and mend four broken hearts? I hope so. So, as you just saw, there is a lot to offer in this book, which is excellent. If I was a fast reader. However, in my quick funny flicks, I did notice there was a wonderful list of credits at the end, so every single person who worked on it gets a proper shout out. And now I shall return to you once I've read this beautiful zine. So I found a use for the bookmark. Now what I wanted to do is say my favourite stories or my favourite art pieces. That was the idea going into it. However, <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Not because it's cruel, because I love being an asshole. It's my favourite thing to do. However, it's just all really good. But the love and passion that clearly went into this thing from the artists and the storytellers is clear as day. And I really can't pick favourites. Look, the community as a whole can be an extremely toxic and just crap place to be sometimes. It's just every year there seems to be something that happens, you know? Maybe 
someone in the community dumps something horrible, or a new bit of the show comes out and everyone's like, Boo! You shit! Fuck you! But you rarely get something that's just wholly joy. Where people, so many people, again over 30 plus contributors to this thing, coming together under a common goal, no arguments, just put it all together, for people to enjoy. How amazing is that? From Hip Switch and the Middle Matches, to Electropolis, to Prometheus, there's just so much to enjoy in this thing. And knowing it came from so many wonderful people just brings joy to my heart. And that doesn't happen very often. I mean, I ended the community show for a reason. Well, many reasons, but one of it was just disillusion from the community as a whole. So when I got the message to review this, I was trepidatious. I was thinking, I don't know, I'm kind of on my way out and the community has kind of burned me one too many times. But I am so glad I said yes to picking this up. So big thank you to Cat Wheeler specifically, who's the one that reached out uh, for giving me this opportunity to have it. It is wonderful, a proud addition to my shelf and the art, trust me, will be going somewhere. Before I end this, I should of course mention how you get it. You want this, don't you? Don't you? Well, I can tell you exactly how to get it. If you're low on the old cash, I know I'm skint, but there is a cheaper alternative in the form of a digital version, which you, I assume, get everything that you saw here today just on the computer, which is, if anything, is kind of better because you get to use it as like desktop backgrounds and stuff like that. From what I can see on their website, there is currently six versions available. But have a look and see what appeals to you, all the bells and whistles that come along with each different version, as well as, of course, the price difference. The link to the website where you can purchase it is, of course, in the description below. Where else would it be? Highly, highly recommend this, supporting this project, and hopefully, They'll make more zines in the future. How cool would that be? I know this isn't their first zine, at least I don't believe so. Also follow them on Twitter, at 77YearsTeam. Oh, and I forgot to mention, all proceeds will be going to Micro Rainbow. Micro Rainbow is a charity that runs safe houses and socioeconomic programs for LGBTQI plus folk, which for some reason in this modern world we live in are still treated like dirt, even though it should just be common knowledge that all those people, all those letters, you know, whatever you identify as, they're just people. Leave them alone! Treat them like with respect! It's not hard, but that's just the little cherry on top of this project. It's not just an amazing chance for the community to come together on something, but it's also for a good cause. One final time, thank you to the 77 Years team, especially Kat, again, who reached out to me. It is a pleasure and an honour to be given the opportunity to review this thing, even though, let's be honest, my review was rubbish. <laughs> I do apologise, I wish I had more to talk about and more specifics to say. But I'm just happy to gush and love and cherish these new things, these new art pieces and, and the book in my life. And I'm just very happy, I don't know. You know what, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll make, I'll say something definitive. My favourite out of these art pieces here, between these two. Yeah! So whoever created these two, uh, shout out to you, much love. You're the best, objectively, says me. <laughs> and with that, I have two final words. Buy it. Tom's car out, what is that?